Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new video. This is going to be how to set up HTML5 push notifications in Chrome for Home Assistant. So this was a request from uh, one of my followers. And so when I started doing some research on how to get it set up and everything, I noticed a lot of people were having issues with it. So uh, hopefully this tutorial will uh, get everything kind of squared away for you guys. So let's go ahead and run down uh, all the steps that we're going to cover in this video. Uh, for starters, we're going to go ahead and install all the prerequisites needed uh, for this to work properly. Uh, next, we're going to create our uh, Google project and verify our domain name so that everything will work properly with these notifications. Uh, third, we will go ahead and add our component into the Home Assistant configuration. And lastly, we'll just enable push notifications in Home Assistant and send a test message and see what that looks like. So let's get started. All right, for starters, we're gonna install a few things that we need for this to work properly. And again, I'll put this in the description so that you guys can just copy and paste it in there. But we're gonna do a sudo apt-get install libpython-dev libffi-dev and libssl-dev now these are more than likely already installed but we'll go ahead and run the install anyway just to make sure once we do that we're going to go ahead and install pywebpush now we do that using pip so we'll do a sudo pip install pywebpush now again, it may already be installed, and if it is, that's okay. We just want to make sure that we have the latest version. Now once all those are installed, we're going to go ahead and reboot our Home Assistant server for the changes to take effect. So we'll do a sudo reboot. So while that's rebooting, let's go ahead and create our Google project that we're going to use for this. So I'll put the links to everything in the description so you can just copy and paste it in there. But we're going to go over to the Google Cloud Platform and create a new project. Now you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call mine HTML5 notification. and it'll take it a second for it to create the project once that's done let's move over to a different page and verify our domain in order for this to work properly you need to have your page configured with a uh, public DNS like duck DNS or something similar to that as well as let's encrypt set up for a SSL cert and again, I'll put the link in the description so you can copy and paste it. But we'll basically go in here and we're going to say add domain. And we'll type our domain name. If you have to use a port number, make sure that you list that port number as well. Okay. Okay, add domain. It's going to say, all right, verify ownership. So you'll say, take me there. And we'll do a add a property. Again, we'll type in our domain name again, including HTTPS. And you're going to go to alternate methods and we'll say HTML tag. checkbox there and you're gonna copy that meta name so we'll copy that whole thing we can move over to the CLI for the next step of the verification now this is where a lot of people got hung up 
was trying to figure out where the index.html file is that we needed to edit in order to place this meta name. For me, since I'm running a standard version of Home Assistant on Ubuntu, it's inside the Home Assistant directory. Now it's possible if you're running has.io or something else, it'll be in a different location. If you need help finding it, just shoot me a message in the comments below. All right, so I'm going to do a cd depths, that's for dependence, slash lib, slash python 3.5, slash site uh, dash packages, slash has underscore front end. From there, I'm going to do a sudo vi index.html. We're going to move over next to where it says head, right in between those two carrots we're going to go ahead and paste in that meta name that we copied earlier once we do that we can go ahead and uh, save it I'm going to go ahead and restart Home Assistant for the changes to take effect. We'll give that a second to come back up. Now we can move back over to that verification page that we were just at and hit verify. All right, so we'll hit the verify button. And you can see now it's verified and everything looks good. We're gonna move back to that first page where we added the domain and make sure that everything is added and verified correctly. So we'll do this one more time. Since the page has been verified, it should add without any problems. Say add domain. And there it is listed there. We are good to go. At this point, let's move over and import our project into Firebase. Again, I'll put the link in the description. Say add project. We'll select it from the drop down. There's our HTML5 dash notifications that we created. Say import. Give it a second to finish. Now we can go into the settings. It's up on the left side there. Get the little. Uh, settings icon, go to project settings, select cloud messaging at the top and then you're going to copy the server key and the sender ID. And you'll save those to use in your home assistant configuration. Once you have those copied we can go ahead and move back over to the command line. All right, now we are ready to edit our Home Assistant configuration. So I'm gonna do a sudo vi notify.yaml and just to add another section at the bottom here, I'm just gonna call it HTML5. The platform, of course, will be HTML5. name will be HTML underscore notify. You can call it whatever you want. And then this is where you're going to put that server key and the sender ID. Now I have mine stored in uh, my secrets.yaml file.
go ahead and save that and we are ready to restart home assistant so we'll do a sudo system ctl restart home assistant give that a second to come back up All right, so back on our Home Assistant front end, we're gonna go into Configuration, and we're gonna click on General. Now you're gonna scroll down to a, a section that says Enable Push Notifications, and we're gonna hit that little toggle there. And it should pop up and say, do you wanna allow or block? We'll say allow. Once you've done that, we are ready to test out our notifications. So let's go over here under Services, and we're gonna type in uh, Notify, We'll just select the one we just created, HTML underscore notify. Like I already have a little test message in there, so I'm gonna call the service. And bam, there it is, the top test. That is where it came from, and it says this is a test. That is it, guys. That is the end of this tutorial. We are now sending a home assistant notifications to our Chrome browser. Let's go ahead and do a quick recap of everything that we did there. For starters, uh, we uh, installed the prerequisites needed for this to work properly. Next, we created our uh, Google project and verified our domain name so that it would work. And then third, we added uh, the new component into our Home Assistant configuration. And lastly, we enabled push notifications and sent a test out to see what that looked like. That's the end of the video, guys. I uh, hope everybody liked the tutorial. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. If you're using Home Assistant differently than, than the way I have it set up, just let me know, and I'll see if I can't get you guys uh, working uh, on whatever configuration that you have. Um, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, please let me know as well in the comments, and I will try to get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.